The Chicago Bears lose to the Minnesota Vikings by the score of 19 to 13 at Soldier Field on Sunday. It's two steps forward and four steps back for the Bears because as good as they were offensively and defensively against Washington, the Bears regressed to where they were before, especially on the offensive side of the football against Minnesota. Justin Fields had to leave the game because of a wrist injury. And so we don't know the timetable when he'll be able to return. But I will just tell you that the offense with Justin Fields, that just wasn't working. It looked like what we've seen for a long time. The offensive line not holding up for Justin Fields because Fields finished 6 for 10 for 58 yards, interception and four sacks. That just won't get it done, especially after 10 days ago how dominant the Bears were offensively against Washington. But the four sacks bother me because that means there's a lack of commitment on the offensive line and also those like Evans, and I know that he's not a first string running back, but his job is to be able to run the football and or block. And Justin Fields didn't have the time and also Justin Fields didn't have the temerity to get the ball down the field or to be able to be as smooth and sharp as he was offensively. Give Minnesota's defense credit, but at the same time, offensively, there was a lack of uh, production from this offense. Bad snaps by Cody Whitehair. I cannot wait for a time where we could talk about a post-Cody Whitehair uh, Chicago Bears roster. This team badly needs a center. And I don't mean what's on the team now or somebody on the practice squad. I'm talking about to be able to have centers that can be able to snap the ball and that high snaps or snaps down low. I mean, Cody Whitehair started off as a center. He got away from that position, but he still should be able to have muscle memory to execute, and he did not, uh, to the point where he was benched at some point. Just a lack of fundamentals uh, from those that, and again, Evans is a backup, but just you've got to be able to block. I don't care if it's Bajit or if it's Justin Fields. You've got to be able to help block just to give the quarterback some time. We did not see that. The defense, I thought, came to play. They played well enough for the Bears to win today. Just flowers to them because they had five tackles for a loss as a unit, four quarterback hits. You saw Walker and Brisker sharing a sack, so I was very happy to see that. But offensively speaking, the Bears just, again, looked anemic. So Fields goes out and Tyson Bajan comes in, and Bajan gives you 10 for 14 with interception. But again, he was able to kind of color by the numbers offensively as a quarterback, and he looked unafraid out there. So I like that much. But again, it's about execution. He threw a, a wounded duck to DJ Moore. Ends up being an interception. That really was the ball game for the Chicago Bears. 162 yards on the ground. I love the aggressiveness of the Bears running the football well. I like that a lot. Big plays to Mooney and big plays to DJ Moore. But just not enough though. Not enough big plays down the field. So 1913, another loss for the Chicago Bears, and they start a losing streak, maybe. We'll see what happens there next week against uh, the Raiders. But the point is, though, is that this team has a long way to go, guys. It, it just does. As good as they were against Washington, it just you could see the little things that popped up, like not being able to play well on the offensive line, Darnell Wright being blown up. And I know he's a kid blown up from on the corner, white hair on the offensive line. Uh, Nate Davis having to leave because of an injury. They need to be able, this Bears team, to be able to have protection for whoever the quarterback's going to be. Bajent, whether it's going to be Fields or whatever. Bajent was fine. It was, it was okay. I mean, again, you know he's got a big arm. Justin has a big arm, too. We just never see it enough. So I, I just um, I just watched this game, and again, it's a game that uh, the Bears should have won, but they fall short, and uh, they lose 19-13. to Give me your comments below. What did you think of the Bears' effort uh, against the Vikings. And what do you think of the quarterback situation? I don't know how long Justin's going to be out, but Bajent is going to be the guy. Are you good with that for the rest of the season, if that's the case, if he gets the majority of the snaps? Or you're good with Fields being able to actually have blocking and time to be able to throw and for him to be able to have better decision-making? That all was a problem in Sunday's game. If we could blame the offensive line and get C and Eberflus and all that, that's also in the players, too. Winnable ball game, falling short. I turn on the game, and I'm like, ah, Bears and Vikings, and I get Iowa and Wisconsin. Great.